So when it comes to funny movies, you want to, you know, of course, have a good time, actually have a laugh, and really not waste your time and ticket. So I am going to pretty much break down three good movies that were funny that I've seen at AMC theaters. So if I wanted to say uh, or suggest a funny movie to see this year using AMC A-List, I would suggest the movie Asteroid City because Asteroid City is really is very subtly funny. It's constant constant humor. It's actually meant to be funny without all the um, over exotic and sexual themes. Those are few little sexual suggestions, but it's not too like gory or really um, how you say in your face. It's kind of like you'd have to think and pay attention. This movie you really do actually want to pay attention because it's not just so you can get the funny gestures, but it's also so that you can pay attention to the overall plot. It's it's kind of weird in a way because it's not exactly, um, you know. Your clear cut to the point plot, you know, you have to look at it as a as the same way that they did the Fritz Dish, Ditch Patch. It all adds up together, and one area it leads to another, and they're pretty much just stuck in the city called Asteroid City, which is kind of like this uh, quarantine area. They do it for nuclear testing. The theme of it all the time is like 1950s ish, you know, around the time when the, the atomic bomb was released. So, the reason why I say that's the first of the funny movies is because there is a certain movie, and I will list it as number three, that it does it, it didn't really come up to me as, as funny. You know, uh, this one came to fun, came funny because just because it was, um, everybody was laughing, and uh, of course, you can tell right off the bat, it was meant to be funny. The second one I would suggest you go see if it, you know, if you really want to go see something quick, but not exactly, uh, um, over the top funny, and maybe something you've seen before would be no hard feelings. Feelings. So this starts with uh, Gen- Jennifer Lawrence, you know the the actor the actress that played on the um, the uh, the Hunger Game uh, movies based on those books, as well as Mystique and X Men. Um, yeah, so she's actually quite comical. I didn't expect so. She has this whole thing where her character is like older than a lot of the people. She's um, uh, really trying to date this younger man and, and like get him ready for college and get him out of a shell, so to speak. She's paid to do it. Um, and if you pay attention to the beginning of it, she's actually she loses her car. She's actually in debt. She's there's a threat of her losing her home, so she has to do something quick. So she ends up finding a rich family that they desperately need their son to, you know, get out of a shell and, and get prepared to date women in college because they want him to go, I think it's Princeton. And the reason why I picked this one as a second one is it's really quite actually funny at times. There's this whole thing where she's older than people because she's in the 30s and she's around people who are like... 18 to early to mid 20s and people are calling her grandma and of course she doesn't like it she feels like she has more experience than most people but really uh it's 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 just this play on walls and this disrespect for people who are like simply a decade or not even a whole decade older than you and people um uh, they were pretty much laughing in this movie. I mean, she goes from nearly lo- losing her license, and they swim naked in the water, and she has to get her clothes back, and then there's certain things with the, um, you know, she, she's trying to understand why the boy can't date, why he's so scared. You know, there's some truth to it. And, but those are, uh, there's very moments of when it's actually to the heart and to the point, you know, down the earth. It's not over, over the top. You know, it's not stereotypical in a way. It's very um, heartfelt. And you can tell the, the story was well written. And forgive me for my hair being kind of crazy. You can tell I'm in my um, nighttime, get ready to go sleep uh, attire. But I wanted to finish this movie off by mentioning number three. And the reason why it's number three is because it wasn't as funny as I expected. But I still got a few laughs out of it. And that is The Blackening. Now... This movie is actually quite stereotypical in that it involves an overarching theme of how black actors are treated in movies. Now, they're not actors per se, but the characters in movies are so killed off in scary movies quite frequently. They're usually killed off quick. I mean, you can look at Scream 2, for example. And But 
this one just pl it plays on that, but it also plays on the stereotypes of black people in general. They tend to people tend to think that um, these stereotypes are like redundant, and they could just keep putting in movies. And maybe they're put, putting at the fact that it actually is put in movies quite a bit. And maybe they're trying to say in a way black people more than that, and you should really stop making fun of them in movies like that, you know. And and if if that's what you're going for. You know, if that's what the directors were going for, then that's that's pretty much what they're doing. I mean, this I was kind of cringing at like some things I didn't know why or I didn't understand why they would be put in the movie. It's kind of like they're making fun of black people. For example, they say the N word way too often. Uh, there's also a few times when I could tell they were trying to be funny, but it didn't quite hit for me. But there was one key moment. That really actually made me laugh, and is actually involving one of the key characters. I won't spoil this movie because it does deserve to have its uh, audience. It's it's not too great, but if you're looking for something to go see on a Tuesday and you don't mind, it's actually the movie. The movie is only a little bit over over an hour and a half, so yeah. So if you want to go see the black black thing, I'll suggest you check that out. So those are my top three movies of. Of, of this current last two weeks. Um, I haven't seen a whole lot. But uh, if I wanted to pick comedy movies. I would definitely go with those. Definitely. And uh, like I said. You can go to AMC. If you have the A-list. You can use it for that. Or you can go on a Tuesday. And see all three. For the price of one ticket. You can see three movies. It's literally six fifty, And maybe you have some money. Hopefully left up for popcorn and drink. And nachos. And chicken tenders. And pizza. They have a damn good pizza.